So in this video, I'm going to be revealing how I met three billion dollar companies in UAE uh, at the age of 26, 27. So how did I manage to do that? I'm going to be revealing in this video uh, how I did this. So I was looking to buy businesses and I was making the phone calls. You know, you're supposed to cold call businesses. You have a list uh, of numbers uh, and you start cold calling. And what you have on this list is the name of the company and the number. And there, there are thousands of these companies, right? So I started to start uh, cold call these people and I do not know what their revenue size is. I do not even know what size of company I'm talking to. And typically I don't check this because then my mind would get affected uh, if I know what revenue size this company is. So this is the first one, okay, out of the three, first one. So I call someone, someone picks up and he says, uh, okay, what do you want? And I say, we are looking to buy healthcare companies. Are you interested to sell, etc., etc." And then I was handed, um, I was, the secretary transferred the call to a senior executive. It was a lady. And uh, she said, yes, we are interested. Uh, why don't you come to our offices? And then I go to the office. I didn't check anything on the internet deliberately because I knew it would affect my mind. I, I said, once I meet them, have an introduction, I'll come back and I'll check. So I go in and it turns out that it's a hotel. And it was actually a chain of hotels in UAE worth about a billion dollars, a hotel and residential uh, building. And at the bottom of it, they had a clinic you know, a surgery center. So that's the one that they wanted to sell. So I meet the senior executive and accompanied with the senior executive, there was the CEO of the clinic, not the hotel, but the clinic. And then they said, uh, okay, what is it that you want to do? And I said, we want to, I want to have a conversation about, you know, potential acquisition with your company. And uh, they said, okay, who are you? And, you know, I had sent my company profile. And this is the reason why they met me, because on my company profile, I had six or seven other high profile executives who had been involved in billion dollar deals. One of them was a CEO of a $3.5 billion company, and they had already established credibility in the market. And because I had put that work to find these people to do a lot of, to do a lot of presentation, a project presentation and bring these business partners along, I was able to secure this meeting. It wasn't just the cold call uh, and saying hello. On the cold call, I also described who's involved with me. And when I met, before I met them, I sent uh, my company profile so they could see, and then the meeting was scheduled. So they already knew who I am associated with. And that was the reason they took the meeting is because I came across someone who's serious, who has a serious intention. And they said, you know, uh, we would, uh, we can connect you to the founder and uh, we can have a discussion on it. And uh, you would have to send us the agenda of the meeting uh, up front. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, we can have the meeting with the, you know, the billionaire, so to speak. So I went back and uh, I said, okay, we'll save this one for later. Uh, because it seemed like it's a very big transaction. I wanted to close a few deals before I met uh, this big company, but I had established contact and I met the senior executive. So that's one of the companies. The second one was actually a public company in $10 billion plus. Okay, this is a large, large healthcare company. Um, I cannot tell you where exactly it's based because there's only one or two companies like that um, and I have these NDAs with them. So they were going through some issues, some internal issues and due to which they wanted to dispose of or sell two of their assets. One was 120 million, one was 100, uh, 110 uh, million dollars. Uh, they had they own two chains of businesses. Uh, all across the world and the company was listed in London and um, while I was building the team my business partners I did over several hundred presentations 
So basically, I met hundreds of people and I shared what I was doing. And what I was doing was I was buying healthcare businesses. And that's the project that uh, the idea that I had come up with. So a hundred, couple of hundred people knew me because I met them one on one and knew what the project I was working on. And when you sh when you have a vision, when you <laughs> share your vision with somebody, an executive or multiple executives, they always look for what's the role for themselves, you know. And even if they can't be your business partner, even if they can't get on your board, they will still think about ways uh, to bring people or connect you with people and have their own peace. Uh, in in by making that connection. For example, if a person who could not be on my board introduces me with a bank that he knows or helps me raise money, well, he could have some of that money that was raised from the bank. Or if he connects me with the seller, he could have a commission if the deal closes, right? So they have these side gigs that a lot of the people in the corporate world want to get involved in. You know, they don't have an extensive role, but they'll just connect two parties and make a commission. And sometimes these commissions are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and sometimes they're worth a uh, few million dollars depending on the deal size. So if you have a big enough project, if the pie is big enough, there will be room for a lot of people to eat. You know, even if they're not part of your company, even though they are external advisors, they, will, they can play a role in taking you forward uh, into your goal. So just creating some background here. Second company. So while I gave hundreds of presentations, one of the guys was working in the big four accounting firms and he was appointed and I had done presentation with him. I knew him. We were in touch from time to time, sending articles to each other, keep in touch. He knew me. He knew who was associated with me. He knew the project. He knew what it was about. He had asked me questions about it. He knew uh, who I was. So he said, I have this contact with this big, you know, multi-billion dollar company with their main decision maker. And they're looking to sell these two assets. If you want, I can set up the meeting and we could structure something between us. And we had an agreement where if the deal goes through, he gets X amount of money. And then he introduced me to one of the heads of... Um, of an extra one of the largest management consulting firms in the world. So the stock exchange market where the company was listed had appointed a large management consulting firm to sell these assets. So I was put in touch with the head of this management uh, consulting firm, a meeting um, and people in the background were in the loop. And, you know, I had the negotiation and they had two assets hundred million dollars, roughly hundred million dollars each. And I had made, I had a meeting with them, with the lawyer uh, and this guy, the consultant who were connecting um, both of us. So that's how that went. That was the second company. And then you have the third company. And this was again, one of the guys that I had met. Um, he was a management consultant. He was actually a broker uh, who would connect healthcare assets with investors who are looking to buy healthcare assets. So I had, you know, created a list of, you know, 100 plus such people and I had sent them a message and you always want to meet them when you don't need anything. You meet them, you explain what you do and you say, okay, we are in touch. If you have something for me, let me know. And this guy came up with a contact with uh, one of the healthcare groups in UAE which was actually owned by an Indian company, a public company, uh, had a healthcare uh, division uh, in UAE, couple of companies. And the CEO of this group was, um, you know, connected to me. And I spoke to the CEO, one of the main decision makers of this healthcare, couple of healthcare assets. And I had that meeting with uh, my chairman and one of my CFOs. And uh, so that's that's how I met them. It was purely because I had met a management consultant who advises healthcare companies and who connects the healthcare companies with investors. And he knew uh, he had some intel 
about that they want to sell. They're looking for a buyer to sell. And he connected me. So again, the reason this meeting happened is because I had this team of high profile executives on my board. If I didn't have that as a single person, I may not have been able to be in these meetings. You know, these are 20 to $50 million, $100 million um, meetings. And that's what this gives you the ability to do. Um, if you have high profile partners who have est established credibility, all of that rubs off on you, due to which you find yourself in these positions where you're working on deals which are so big in size uh, that most people can't comprehend. Um, and that's that's what happened. That's how I met the three companies, $3 billion companies.